Oh, that's how it should look. That's in fuego. I got a booger on my finger and I can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we got the new mini light up dinos. Woo! It's Zuru Smashers Series 4. Let's start with this, the first one here. And you see right there, it's the Zuru Smashers. It's a mini light up dino, and there's three to collect and battle. And it's Series 4 dino, and you can unbox, build, and battle. And then you can see what kind of batteries it takes. So it says batteries included, so that's a start. But if you ever run out of juice, you know, that's the type of battery you replace it with AG13, A76, or LR44. And then warning, it's a choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three. And it contains six pieces. And then on the back, it's the mini light up dino. Dinos. It says, discover one of three Dino Smashers stores inside the Zuru Smashers mini light up dino egg. Explore the glow in the dark magma slime. Unwrap Smash Fizz slime and build the ultimate smash sore And you can see the pictures right there. There's the smash, there's the slime, and hey, build in more. And it says you can collect all smash sores and there's three pictures of them down there. So if I got my dinosaurs right, in this one, it looks like you're gonna get the Spinosaur. In the red one, it looks like you're gonna get the T Rex. And then in this one, the gray, if I know my dinosaurs with the little pricklies at the end of his tail and the spine on his back, it's a, a delicious steak, a saurus. So we're gonna find out if I really nailed this, you know, Venture Fan Dad, he's as sharp as a tack. Let's see if he's right. Warning, not suitable for children under 36 months, choking hazard, small parts, wash hands with clean water thoroughly before and after using the product. Keep hands dry to play. To avoid drying, store it in a tight sealed container. This product is not edible. Do not put it in your mouth. Call a doctor immediately if ingested. Do not stick on your eyes or face. Do not use on fabric, hair, or pore surfaces that cannot easily be wiped clean. Residue or color may transfer. Attention, please keep this packaging as it contains important information. And then the six pieces that it includes is one mini dino egg, one meteorite bag, one dino amber slime, one smash star, one lava slime, one collector's guide. So let's get smashing. Okay, so now to open this one, to take off the butamus wrapping, if you look on the side, you got an arrow with little dots, you know, tear along this line here. But well, we're gonna go ahead and grab my fingernail. And if you don't do it right, you get that plastic right up your fingernail, cuts in between the skin and the nail, ouch. And I'll just use my Swiss Army knife. Not for kids, so you guys may wanna use something else. Like, may the fork be with you, because you get that little prong right there, maybe you can get enough down in there for purchase to actually, oh yeah, it does pretty good. You gotta get swifty. I gotta get open this package. Oh, <laughs> it just popped open. I didn't get all the wrapper off. And there you go, there's the wrapper. But you're supposed to have the egg on, right? We gotta make it look butamous. So that's what it looks like. And then, you know, how do you smash it open? I mean, karate chop it. You can just give it the old pump here. But I like the karate chop. Yay! <laughs> look at what we got, guys. We got a flaming ball. You look at the uh, meteorite. You got the T-Rex, them bones. He's getting smashed, pulverized by meteorite. You know, the funny thing about this is, is that he's got eyeballs that look like he's alive. It's one of those uh, living dead zombies here. <laughs> Where actually he's living, but the bones are brought to life. But the eyes, the only thing that I can see that's anything that's fleshy on him. Before we open this up, let's take a look at our collector's guide instructions. So there's the front and there's the back. First of all, the front. So there it is, your collector's guide, and you got the Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, and the Stegosaurus. If you got circles in there, you can check them off as you collect them, cool. And it says collect them all, unbox, build, and battle. So obviously, if you get one, what are you gonna battle? Jimmy Next Door, ah! You're gonna battle another uh, dinosaur, so you have to have two, unless Jimmy Next Door actually has another dinosaur. So parents, you know, we gotta be on top of this. And then on the back. So first of all, we're building a T-Rex, and did I not call it right? T-Rex has the red bone. And so there you go, you got several different parts, A through G, and that's how you build them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you got a cool dinosaur. Awesome. And it says adjust the position of the legs in order to stabilize the structure. So if he starts tumbling, just rework the legs. And look at that. Hey, you get to swing the T-Rex tail to light the dino up. Oh, that's gonna be cool. So I wonder how he's gonna light up. And it's got glow in the dark lava slime. Mix slime thoroughly for best glowing effects. Expose the slime to the light source to make it glow brighter. Warning, do not put slime in direct contact with the light source. Maybe because it's so hot, it'll adhere. Just start melting and bubbling and probably pop the light. Then it talks about changing the batteries. Just make sure you got a screwdriver and it's at the bottom of his belly. Batteries are inserted with the correct polarity, positive, negative. I mean, it goes through all the steps here, guys. But let's get moving because now that we covered the parents portion of it, let's do the kids portion. Yay! It's a family thing. So right here, you got the skizzers. Look at that, so depressing. Not included. <laughs> 
but thank goodness we actually have scissors. Parents, make sure that the kids don't cut through and just cut up part of it. I mean, you'd have to go out and buy another one, right? Maybe just a quick little insertion here just to get it going and then see if we can tear. Ah, oh, it tears open. Cool. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that, guys. So with our instruction map, it doesn't say which way to open this up, but you got your amber slime right there. You know why dinosaurs had such small brains? Because with mosquitoes that size sucking on half your brain and the dinosaurs looking up at him going, how am I going to swat you? If he had a long enough tongue, you could just whack it on his head and just have some nourishment. <laughs> and then you can see actually in there, it looks like his head and his tail. Oh, we got the uh, lava slime. Ah, uh, looks nice. Nice packaging. And you got little divots you can tear above and blow to open it up. And then finally, we got our mini light up dino. So I guess this is the belly of the beast. So you have lava slime and amber slime. So this isn't food, this isn't edible. So it's trying to warn you, this isn't jello. Looks like jello, but it's amber slime. So it says, cut this open. You could try to peel off the plastic, but this is lighter plastic. See how you got a harder plastic right there? That's an owie. I don't know if that's gonna really work. Or oh, you gotta have tiny fingers. So I'm just gonna cut it right along the path there. Okay, we got a crack. It looks like jello. Oh, it feels like jello. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just leaking everywhere. <laughs> if we got enough water on here to actually fling across the table, it can't be flat because it doesn't have enough water, but when it's on an angle like this, look at that guys, that just feels super like I'm talking Treasure X, I'm crossing over from Zuru to Treasure X. Well, they get the same manufacturer, I think maybe, but it's water waxy. That's what it feels like. Oh, that's super cool and just break it open. Look at that. What shape is that? Did that go into his like, oh, it went into his tail. Part of it went right to his tail. Oh, that's cool. And then we got his head. We're like uh, a Gorag thag. A Neanderthal man like threw an ax and hit him in the head. <laughs> He's still running around. Well, that's where the mosquito bit him. So it gave him like super like gamma like ray powers. So now nothing can hurt him. You know, not even the caveman, Kragman man can bring him down. So there's the results of the hatchet. He ate up Kragman man. <laughs> He may have got a, an ax into his tomahawk into his like head, but boy, he had a delicious dinner. That's cool, guys. Look how beautiful that color is. Amber. Kind of like jelly. I love that. That is cool. Okay, we got two of them. So let's, I don't know if I can pull this open. You can see a little divot there. It's supposed to pinch and tear it. Tear it. Oh, I'm going to have to wimp out. That's right. Camera dad knows when he's beaten. We'll go ahead and cut it. Oh, that's just smooth as butter. Oh, let me have it ziplock. I can't get my big muscly fingers in there. Oh, my hands are slippery too. It could. Here, camera mom. Oh, oh and it worked. The camera mom's a very dry girl. She just, her jokes are just so dry. <laughs> Oh, this oh, is egg snot again. Nice. Guys, remember when we opened up the huge one, the epic dino eggs here? Hey, watch my video on that one. They had the same slime in that one, which is super cool. Egg snot. Oh man, that is awesome. It just looks like either nacho cheese. I can see why Zuru's telling us these things aren't edible. They look like they're edible. Things that you'd find with all the dyes they put in food these days. And so we got a couple of body parts so far. You know, if you guys dip your hands in water, it's easier to work with this stuff. It's not as sticky. <laughs> you see, that's like venom or carnage, you know, just that amoeba thing that surrounds, you've seen the Spider-Man and it makes him his and he turns into like Yolk Man. You burn me with your yolk. Oh, look at that. Even someone's drying and coming off on it. And that was cool. Yeah, if this was your window, it just creepy crawly slime for Halloween, you know, that'd be awesome. This is my Zero Smasher, my contribution to this. So you know how it says on the back here, Smashosaurs. Well, this is my Happy Halloween Squashosaurs. I could be naming a new dinosaur, Squashosaurs. That's all he ate was squashes. I think we got all the body parts except for the uh, the light up part. So here we go. We got a notch above and below. So we just pinch and tear. Oh, that feels like it might have a battery in it. So let's go ahead and build it. Take the head of the dinosaur and put it in the head part. There we go. Pretty cool. And then we put the legs on. Not too difficult to build so far. It's little teeny tiny hands. Oh, it actually snaps really well. And then when you put his tail on, you see that part of the bone there? It's got an arrow pointing in. So that means, I guess, after you put it on, you turn it to make the light come on in his back. I'm gonna try, see if I can take it off. And you see the back of his tail right there? We don't have his tail on, but his hiney. We're going PG. His bot talks, no, that's PG-13. So we'll have to turn off the lights, guys, but you just swing it and it lights on. You swing it out, he's not happy. You swing it in, He's happy. If he doesn't stand, then it just says to adjust his feet a little bit, okay? Oh, actually changing colors. Went from red to green. Now it's going to blue, purple. Oh yeah.
Okay, next, I believe this one's gonna be our Spinosaur. So we got that yellow, kind of an orange bone, yellow orange, and it's got the same things that we already went over, and so let's just go ahead and crack them open. That bottom part doesn't want to unzip as easy. I mean, back then, you know, how would you like to have this for breakfast? A huge egg. It's almost like an ostrich egg is about the size anyways, right? You can store them back in there, right, if you wanted to. I mean, keep the egg, it'd be great. You know, maybe Easter eggs, uh, fill it up with something, some treats or things like that. That'd be super fun. So you got the same guy getting smashed and pulverized by a meteorite. He's just shocked that he's even getting hit. Cut it here. You're gonna have the same stuff it looks like. So you've got your amber slime, and then you can see there you got the head and I believe the tail. And the same stuff, you're just gonna have to unzip them and put them together. And then you got your instructions. The same front, but this time on the back, you've got your Spinosaur. Let's go ahead and uh, get our Spinosaur free and put them together. Yeah, it just seems to slide on that side a little bit. You just put some water on the table. You guys can play ice hockey. Kind of looks like colored ice. That was a dead effort. Camera mom just thinks this is a testing ground. Oh, it just feels so good. So satisfying. Of course, with his yapper, he's got a lot of like jello in there. And then what else did he get in here? He got his tail. Two most important things. He doesn't have a tomahawk in his noodle there, but he is squinting. See that eye out squinting? He's got on the back of his tail there, that <laughs> fish. And it looks like a piranha. I mean, that guy looks like it might have teeth. Maybe he thinks it's a big worm. He's about to swallow it. Little does he know. Some more egg snot. Oh, I was able to get that one. Had some dry fingers on that one. Oh, I'm just trying to loosen it up. Hey, it worked! <laughs> oh man, this egg snot. That is just so nasty. But what are we gonna find in here? So we're gonna get his uh, legs out and then his arms. It is kind of a different color. This one's more orangey. Okay, now for our light up uh, spine, the Spinosaur, let's go ahead and put him together. Kind of hard to put together when you've got like slimy hands. Okay, now we gotta take the tag off for the tail. There we go. Just pulls right out. Oh, you can see there's a little like, just, just a little divot off to the side. And there's a little part of an extension on this side. So maybe just align that up thus. And so it lights up his spine. It should be changing different colors. We'll go ahead and turn off the lights and then see what it looks like. Is he supposed to stand up like this with the tail? Oh, he looks cool. Because if he was like that, nah, he didn't look cool. So if you need to adjust his uh, feet and he looks great. Look at him. He's awesome. Of course, being the same size as the T-Rex, it looks like they could both have a battle. Because that's what they say, you know, battle and fight. So you know what he can do? He can take the tomahawk and stick it, jam it down his throat, and it would cut up his insides. No, that's too gory. He's got more of a jawbone that could crush him, though. But he's got longer chops. So who knows? Maybe the alligator long face here could actually take out T-Rex. What do you guys think? Spinosaur or T-Rex, who would win? We got one more. There's the last one, we got the gray bone. And like I said, so I got it right. This is gonna be our Stegosaurus. Oh. Now, how do we wanna do this one? Should we just give it a karate chop? That's my favorite. One, two. I have to hold myself back. I could cut through this table with this weapon here. Don't wanna show off my Don Knotts karate moves. So first of all, we got our instructions. So this time it's our Stegosaurus. I prefer steak. There we go, there's the front, same thing, and then here's the back. And there's our Stegosaurus, yay! Tearing. So, you know, there you got your amber slime, and there he is right there, he's all gray, but in an amber slime, and it's not edible. And you got the same thing, got your dino light up, your bodice, and then you got your egg snot slime. So let's go ahead and get cracking and get this guy out and put him together. Oh, it hit my chin. Be careful when you open this up, parents. The kids have their excitement and oh, they could get this in their eyes. I got my safety glasses on. So there he is. Water wax on, wax off. Boy, that's a tiny head. Gosh, there's no way he would stand up to these guys at all. He would fall if they ever got their choppers on him, except his tail, if he could swing it right and get some damage in there, he might have a chance. So you know what? Probably wouldn't be a fair fight with him against these other guys, but let's be able to see uh, just uh, exactly what he looks like. Big snot. Okay, there's his footsies. Let's just be leaning this forward just so we can get a good shot. Hold on. Oh! What was that? <laughs> Something popped over here. That's scary. <laughs> what in the world? I think we got our evolution here, guys. We went from a lighter, less cholesterol, to more cholesterol, to heavy cholesterol. <laughs> okay, let's look for the body. Oh. 
There we go. Ah, he's got a big body there. So let's go ahead and put them together. I'm not even using the instructions because I think I can figure it out. I like his back. Look at those blades on his back. That just looks super cool. That's why you use tissues, guys. If you don't, you're just leaving strands everywhere. It's nasty. <laughs> okay. It helps if you get a little tongue action there. It's the acupressure puncture point. You know, when you move your tongue in right, you know, like Kung Fu Panda, he did his tongue fooey. And we pull this out. It says to pull. There we go. It pulled out. It says to pull like this way. If you try to pull up, it doesn't seem to work. You have to pull out with the arrow. It's got the little extension here, the little divot there. So if you line up the divot with the extension or the protrusion on the tail there, it should snap right in. And then, you know, you just flip the tail. Oh, he is. You should barely see it. You'll see it in the dark. Look at the egg snot. That is so cool how that just pops in color. And then you go over here. Oh, look at my finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some sort of in. As long as you can wash it off, I think you'll be fine. But man, that looks like weird. But you gotta wear safety glasses and make sure you don't open your yapper. Man, look at this snot over here. And then look at our dinosaurs. Anything that glows on him? Not really. Oh, except for the snot. Oh, and his little like bug patch on the other side for our stegosaurus. And then look at our T-Rex. Look at the different colors that he used on him. So his tail is one color and then his bodice is like pink. And then on this other side, uh, you can see the little birthmark right there. And then look at our Spinosaur. So he, his bodice is different, but his head pops and glows and his tail. Oh, his side, so it's his bodice that doesn't pop where the T-Rex, his bodice does pop. So now let's go ahead and take a look at them lighting up. So first of all, our Stegosaurus. Oh man, you can barely see the light. I hope you guys get something that isn't this like dim. Yeah, we're calling you zero now, not zero <laughs> as camera mom says. Guys, you are zero to us. So next we'll do the T-Rex, we'll move his tail. Oh, that's how it should look. That's in fuego. Look at all those different colors. Nice. I don't think it turns off by itself. It just keeps going and going and going. So like I said, you know, if the batteries last for a few days and leave it on or just turn them on at night, just flick his tail. That's pretty cool. Now for our Spinosaur, flip the tail. Oh yeah, that looks good. Different colors. Oh, the purple. Yay, it's like fireworks. <laughs> we finally took the batteries out of the Stegosaurus and instead of LR44s, we put some LR43s in there. They're the same in um, diameter, but as far as the depth goes, they're a little bit skinnier, so I put four instead of three. And it's lighting up really well, but what I think is happening is when I push on his belly, it goes out. And I think when I screwed it in too tight, the pressure on it just uh, disengages it and it doesn't light up. So I'm pushing on the belly now and it just goes out. Well, maybe we just got a lemon here and hopefully you guys have something that works. You don't have to mess with it. Anyways, nice to know we had extra batteries on hand. Other batteries that they had in before did not light up as bright as this at all. And it only lasted for a few seconds. So something's going on, but not this time because we have batteries. Woo! So guys, which one's your favorite one? Who's your shining star? I think the one that glows the brightest of the Spinosaurus is cool, but actually the Stegosaurus, I like his uh, plates on the top of his back there, the spine, but man, it doesn't shine as bright. The bodice doesn't pop like these other guys, like the Spinosaur and the T-Rex. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.